you watching Deuce and Guns, and today is vlog number two, and I'm enjoying one of the last pieces of 2015's Army Fudge from my mother. It's called Army Fudge. It's actually a butterscotch. It's an odd butterscotch recipe for fudge. And we call it Army Fudge because it was the only fudge that my mother could send to Vietnam while my dad was stationed there that wouldn't melt in the heat. So it was thus the name, Army Fudge. I'm just down to the bunker right now, kind of cleaning things up, kind of getting things ready for the next video. Not sure what it's going to be yet. Got several projects on the mind. Oh, I'm working on it. <laughs> Decided to go to the movies today with my wife, and uh, we went to see The Hateful Eight uh, projected in 70 millimeter. I highly recommend it. We're in intermission right now, so it's a full, you know, three something hours long intermission in the middle. It's it's very entertaining. I do highly recommend the movie. All right, well, I think the intermission is about over, so I'm going to go back to the movie. Alrighty, well, I finished the uh, Tarantino movie, The Hateful Eight. It's actually the 70 millimeter, like I said before. And you actually get this cool little thing here, a big pamphlet. It's all free with the admission. Well, the admission is not cheap. It's not your standard ticket price, I'll tell you that right now. But 70 millimeter, it was old school, so you heard like during the quiet moments in the film, you hear the, 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 the actual you know, projection equipment working in the background, just like I was a kid. It highly recommended if you like Tarantino movies, you like cowboy movies where not a um, not a single person wears a white hat, if you're, if you're familiar with that kind of reference. So there wasn't really a stereotypical good guy. Ooh, I need some gas. All right. All right, I think you're pointed toward me a little bit better now. And back to, I've got a full tank of gas, by the way, but back to the uh, Hateful Eight. It's, you know, it's your Tarantino movie, so there's a lot of blood, a lot of gore. Uh, there's nobody wearing a white hat. So if you're looking for that stereotypical white hat type cowboy movie, this is not your thing. But if you like where everybody has kind of a bad side to them in the movie, like your typical Tarantino film, then you'll have to hate filet. And look for the 70 millimeter uh, version. It's a traveling show. You get this with it, which is cool. But it's a traveling show. Now, spins, you know, make sure you're there on time because there's no actual previews. So, mine started at 11.30 and it started at 8.11.30. There was no previews, there was no sitting around waiting for something to happen. It happened immediately. We went in there on time and it was already showing. So, it was right on time. And then, there's an intermission halfway through. The whole experience is a little over three hours, three hours and about probably 15 minutes or so. But it's good movie if you like Tarantino movies and if you like a western where no one wears a white hat. And of course, what's the one thing you want to do right after a Tarantino movie? Go to a gun show. So that's what I'm going right now. Just setting up a shot here for a video on my uh, Czechoslovakian, gosh, what is it called? ZKM 468 training rifle. Yesterday, I was at the movie theater, saw the Hateful Eight by Quentin Tarantino and immediately went to the gun show. And here's what I picked up yesterday was the Ruger LCP. Now, normally, I know normally, you guys are aware that I carry a revolver. It is empty right now, so we're all good here. But I carry a revolver for the most part, just pocket carry, real simple. But a friend of mine, he's, he's mentioning that he wants to uh, start carrying a uh, pistol. And of course, I went to the uh, Snub Nose 38, and he's like, eh, it's a little too big, a little too heavy. I really, really want a pistol. I'm like, okay. So I started doing some research, and... Went to the gun show and got a fantastic deal on a second generation, of course, also empty. Second generation, Ruger LCP. It's got the better trigger. Um, not really better sights, but a different location for the rear sight. And I'm going to do a full review on this in the future. And so far, I really like it. It probably will be replacing my revolver for my pocket carry pistol. I am very impressed with it so far. So look forward to uh, several videos on the LCP and the 380 round because I'm not really that familiar with the 380 round as well. So all that's going to be a learning curve for me and I'm of course going to bring you guys along in the future. Well guys I have a uh, video to finish up for you here so I uh, hope you guys have a great week and thanks for tuning in and of course you guys have a great day. See ya. <laughs>